Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast 211. Larry here. And Anthony here. How are you, Ant? What's uh, going on? Tis the season. Tis the season to be something. <laughs> well, I'm a- la 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 la. Well, I'm 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 big enough to be jolly. I'm not, but I'm big enough to be jolly. Um, you you're no you you tend to be a jolly person. Around this actually, yeah. yes, around this season, yes. Yeah, around this time of year, you're always jolly. I and do then, like and it. then there's me, and, and I'm <laughs> being attacked by my cat. <laughs> there. So Look at that. Not, wow, I just giving you the business. Yeah, now we got a beard. Look at that. That's just rude, <laughs> honestly. I mean, there's rude and then there's that. This is this is just straight up invasive. <laughs> Like I feel violated. At this I point. I think you can bring him to court. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, Kitty look, court. There's there's his butt. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh boy, uh, busy week though. Um, I think um, we had in in the world of gaming. Uh, we did have a busy week. Um, first and foremost, I beat another retro game to add to my list. Oh, did did you? Yes, I did. Did you tell uh, me already? No, I posted it last night on our pay on our Facebook page, but. Um, I had I completed uh, Warriors of Fate in the Capcom beat 'em up bundle. What? Oh yes, that's a good one. Yeah, so that was really fun. Okay. And uh, sh- shout out to my buddy Rich who played through it with me. Thank you, Rich. Uh, I am now up in our contest nine games to seven. You are gonna have to get off my lap. I just want to say, Rich, you are not a official part. I mean, you can help Anthony, but if Anthony wins, I'm not buying you something as well. So th- Anthony can split point, it with you. I know. At this point, Rich, Rich has completed three retro games with me, so he's catching up to you. <laughs> so, uh, but that's cool. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, I'm telling the beat-em-up series, man, it's addictive. Yeah, no, they really are. I mean, I think there are seven games in their total, so if you're something not like careful, that. I'm going to run away with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I am unfortunately I'm, I'm starting to get deep diving into more modern stuff like Bloodstained. I played like an hour of Bloodstained yesterday. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, Ritual of the Night, and um, just like Symphony of the Night, I'm up to a part where I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Mm-hmm. I backtrack everything. I'm like, there's nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know what to do right now. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Um, I'm, al- I'm also making a little more headway in um, Super Mario Sunshine. Okay. So I'm working on I'm working on that as well. Awesome. Um, I, I've been working on that on my Switch. So, um, yeah. So that's going along really nicely. Cool. Uh, oh, before we forget, uh, just real quick. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, smash that like button. I mean, you can only hit it once. Mm-hmm. Uh, but because if you hit it a odd number, uh, even number of times, then it won't count anymore. Yeah. So um, hit that like button and subscribe wherever you're listening to us or where you wherever you follow us, and we'll give you more deets at the end. Um, all right, so you're up. So I gotta really start hunkering down here on yeah. these games. I am. I am two games up. All right. And uh, and before we get too far into the episode, I thought this was also something that we yes. should bring up uh, right off the bat before we jump into our topic for today. Go for it. Go for it. Um, it is the holiday season. And is it? What? It, it, yeah, tis tis the season. I oh. mean, you can see my tree in the background. Larry is miserable, and Bah Humbug doesn't have a tree. He's just got Funko Pops. It is behind. Actually, I do have Christmas Funko Pops. They're the only new ones I've taken mm. out of the box. Oh, okay. And they well, go that, back in the box. That's and nice. that includes real quick. It includes Mariah Carey. <laughs> we can't be friends. I won hers from I- Funko. No, you didn't win them. They gave yeah, them away because nobody wanted them. Well, that's true. <laughs> Speaking of which. <laughs> anyway, so holiday season, we thought, and we haven't done one of these in a while. Well, actually, we just did one recently um, and uh, we uh, for our 200th episode. But mm-hmm. since it's the holidays, we thought it would be really fun to do a holiday giveaway. So this year... Um, we're going to put up, we're going to put up some information on our Facebook page, on Twitter and Instagram. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we would love for everybody who listens or watches us to enter our contest. We're going to do a nice little holiday stocking giveaway. Um, if you're on YouTube, you can look at it right now. We will actually have two of these. So two lucky oh. winners Uh-oh. are going to be getting just a little stocking. Oh, look at that. Full of video game stuff. Plus I want the stocking. Nice little, yeah, I know the stocking is really cool, right? Yeah. So you're going to get a little stocking of some retro giveaways. And again, you know, it's just a bunch of cool little items that uh, you may want, uh, you may want in your collection. So keep an eye out for that contest. We're only going to be putting it up for a week since Christmas is in two weeks. Mm -hmm. And we want to make sure that these get out to you for the holidays. So, yeah. So keep an eye out for our, um, 
ho 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 giveaway. I don't know. I didn't mean. <laughs> oh. I'm in. Let me quit or, the show or, then. Or, uh, or our retro row row giveaway. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> and Larry will throw in the Mariah Carey pop that nobody wants. How did no? I won it. Fair and square mm-hmm. from Funko. So anyway, yeah. So yeah. So right, cool. uh, we hope yeah. you enter our giveaway. Good Please luck do. to everybody, and uh, we look forward to choosing the winners on next week's podcast yes stay tuned to our social media pages for more mm-hmm. information yes so all right so um we've got a couple of things a couple of good topics to talk about this week the first one i want to talk about which actually i kind of forgot about until like a night before it aired uh the 2020 game awards yes the 2020 game awards happened on i want to say friday thursday thursday like i said awesome not thursday <laughs> so can hey look you know what this week i don't even want to get into this week but you know <laughs> after working essentially 12 days straight i'm tired <laughs> i don't remember what was on what day i enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> isn't that what anyway uh so the game awards was thursday um you know it's actually it's it's a fun night uh to you know it's kind of like the oscars and the emmys but for the games i still haven't figured out who like the governing body is of the game awards oh i have no idea yeah uh, i think it's just some rich guy you know kind of like the rock and roll hall of fame just some rich guy got together and like you know what let's give out awards but the people do vote so we do have um you know a say in the outcome kind of like the people's choice awards that's very um, democratic what's happening though with the game awards is as much as it's the awards but now it's becoming the night of trailers and world premieres yeah i feel like the game awards are kind of usurping what e3 used to be in a, in a i think way. in, a, in way, a way but to be fair it, they're almost six months apart so i guess like yeah. with development and stuff like if, if you're not out by e3 mm-hmm. you can get away with it at the game awards yeah i feel like you got like at least like in my head the three big announcements for the year are ces e3 mm-hmm. and the game agreed. awards agreed yeah. um and of course the game awards different this year yet very much the same for this year like other things uh it's really the only award i've seen during the pandemic so not having a a, a real crowd i'm kind of i hate to say it i'm getting used to not seeing crowds because it gives more time yeah. to the show because then you're not waiting for claps yes. or whatever. So I, I kind of I'm, I'm liking this no crowd thing, but be that as it may. Well, I'm, I'm so glad the world is finally catching up to my way of living, which is, yes, <laughs> everybody. Do, you, if you don't like people and you don't want to be around them, this could be a beautiful thing. You have been preparing for this for a long time. I look, you know what? This this was just like in, like instilled in my bones. Like, you know, <laughs> I was born to do this. <laughs> so uh let's talk real quick i really we're here to talk about the world premieres but let's but, give a shout out yeah to where they're due right um big game of the night and a game i haven't played yet i haven't yep. played the first one uh the last of us part two was the big winner the titanic of the game awards 2020 yeah the last of us part two um now granted and i'll go with you on this i haven't played it yet either nor have i played the first one however i own the first one mm-hmm. um but i do know a number of people who have played this who keep yelling at me they're like you have to play these two games and i'm like i, I understand that i go let me let me get it into let me fit it into my schedule somewhere oh wait i'm booked so i feel like i'm like like when it comes to video games i feel like i'm uh, i feel like i'm a doctor who has too many patients it's like look i can see you four weeks from now yeah that could be a problem yeah. <laughs> and the see, games I, are I suffering can see you four weeks from now at 6 p.m for about 15 minutes and that's, <laughs> that's about basically it, okay? what it real honestly yeah that's really where i'm at right now so last of us part two again all of my friends who have played it said it's absolutely phenomenal and when you say that it was the big winner you're not kidding it cleaned house and i'm just going to run through really quickly which awards it won mm-hmm. so you have an idea on how much it cleaned house game of the year best game direction best narrative Best audio design, best performance, um, innovation in accessibility, and best action adventure game. So what was that? One, two, seven. three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven awards for The Last of Us Part Two. So if clearly if you haven't played this and you are into playing, like what are some of the best games out there from this year? Last of Us Part Two seems to top the list. Nominated for 11, won seven awards. Uh, the other multiple winners... And these games each won two awards each. Uh, Among Us, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, and Hades. um, All won two awards each. 
Uh, and then uh, some notable mentions, Animal Crossing New Horizons, Best Family, mm -hmm. and uh, Mortal Kombat 11 Ultimate Edition, Best Fighting. I love seeing Mortal Kombat on the list because, you know, almost 30 years later since the first one came out, it's still, like, making headlines, you know? Oh, it's crazy. And, and I downloaded it. The game is phenomenal. Yeah. So. Uh, um, and then a special shout-out to uh, Fall Guys for Best Community Support. They are really good with that, by the way, if there are issues, which is nice. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, but Fall Guys is just super fun. Like, that game is just super fun. Uh, and if Among Us didn't blow up this year, I'm pretty sure... Well, that they won best mobile game, right? Uh, they won best mobile game, and, and they won something else. Uh, I'm not seeing the other thing they won. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even best multiplayer. It. Best multiplayer. I think Fall Guys would have won best multiplayer had. Um, oh wait, Among Fall Us Guys not blown up. Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, uh, kudos to best uh, sports racing game. Tony yes. Hawk's Pro Skater One and Two. Right, coming um, back out of retirement. That's what I yeah. wanted to say. Yeah, which was awesome because let me tell you something. Like playing that on my PS4, um, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, so, and, um, and then also just two really surprises yeah. um, that I thought um, popped out because I haven't I haven't mentioned this game in probably since we were in high school when it kind of first came out, and one of my friends was obsessed with playing it. But the best sim strategy game went to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, yeah, the new one. Yeah. Yeah, the new one, which I thought was amazing. Yeah, because like in high school, I remember my friends like introduced, like saying, oh my God, have you ever played this? And I'm like, no, what is it? He's like, oh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. And he used to bring in like printouts of like his <laughs> flight plans and stuff. He's like, yeah, it's like you fly an actual plane and you do the whole flight. And I'm like, that sounds great. And then I remember playing it on my you know, on my PC back in 96 and I would like, and I would take off and I'd be in the air and I'm like, all right, now what? And then it's like, no, no, now you put it on autopilot and you fly to your destination. I'm like, well, what do I do now? Oh no, you just let it run. And I'm like, <laughs> you go eat. Yeah, it's like, you let it run for like hours. And I'm like, never mind. And then I crashed the plane and I never played it again. <laughs> I was like, no, I was like, when I'm in a plane with video games, I go, I'm blowing stuff up. I was like, so Flight Simulator never really worked out for me. No, no, it worked out for a couple other people. Yeah. But with Flight Simulator, uh, speaking of which, though. Uh, before, um, before you switch, that, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, the other one that I wanted to point out just on the awards, and I thought this, I thought this is a really good story because um, best ongoing game went to No Man's Sky. Which I was shocked about, actually. Right, because when yeah, because if you only if you only remember when No Man's Sky first came yeah. out, there were a lot of issues with it. People were complaining and everything like that. But then they released a lot of patches, and once the patches were released, the game like literally everybody fell in love with this game, oh, okay. and it's just like worth the experience. And to be honest with you, I want to go get it and check it out because basically it's it's the first like game that's pretty much limitless in what you do. Yeah, like any, it's just an ever expanding universe that I knew creates planets with life forms on it and stuff, and it's all randomized. And every planet you can land on any and every planet in the game, and you're exactly right. That's what I remember. So when they announced the winner, because I'm watching it live, mm -hmm. when they I'm like No Man's Sky. I'm like that yeah. game even even still is popular with people because oh, of yeah. the issues that it had day one. Yeah, and if I remember, if I'm also remembering correctly, Larry, and I'm gonna look it up really quickly while we're talking right. about it before we move on, is that um, No Man's Sky, I think released the VR version. It's possible. I think they did. Um, it's definitely no Man, possible. Let me see, No Man's Sky. While you're doing VR, that, just talking yeah. about advertisements, a lot of advertisements or a lot of the the, yes. the world premieres. No Man's Sky is VR. Okay. You can't um, do VR on it. Yeah. A lot of the world premiere. I don't know if this was a marketing thing, or you know, where they just like let's focus on this system, but it'll come out on others, or if it's exclusives. But uh, Oculus Two definitely getting some love with the uh, with the advertising uh, gurus during the game. Oh, that's awards. cool. Yeah, um, yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all. So, um, so yeah, big shout out to all the winners. But let's talk about some of the world premieres. Yes, because there was like like 14 of them maybe 15 of them there were a ton i mean and, they, and this is the thing now with the game awards like it's exactly. all about yeah it's all about now like what are they going to surprise us with in terms of like game announcements it's like the super bowl yes really i'm not watching the game anymore i'm watching the commercials <laughs> i've always only watched the commercials. <laughs> um I, I mean i don't even have the full list i just made a list of the ones that stuck out to me mm -hmm. but i'm gonna start off with some of the the heavy hitter ones and I'm going to say this. I told Anthony this before, even the day that night, I was thinking about going live. 
on just to mm-hmm. interact, just like to simulcast or whatever you want to call it. But um, I did some stuff right before and I was so I thought I was going to fall asleep during the game awards. Cool. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just not thing. But with two of these announcements, I wish I was taping myself because for the first time in a very, very long time, I literally jumped out, literally got up, jumped out of my seat. Big, big smiling grin on my face. I'm like, I can't believe this is happening. And I want to get into both of those games right off the bat. Um, first, and these are for me, I'm not saying this for everybody, but for me, um, one of them, this is all out of order from when they were aired on the show. Um, we are getting a new ghost and goblins game on the Nintendo switch. Yes. Ghost and goblins resurrection. To be yes. Precise. I, you know, it, 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 the, the trailer starts off with this, you see the scroll opening, but then you hear that just the first, you know, mm-hmm. I can name that tune in two notes. As soon as I heard those opening notes, I'm like, <gasps> Ghosts and Goblins? And then you see author, and then it takes off from there. I'm like, this is awesome. Um, the gameplay looks amazing. Uh, looks old, you know, old school with new feel. And it comes out in February for the Switch. Yep. So be on the lookout for that. Very but exciting. then that particular trailer, though, wasn't done with Ghosts and Goblins. No, it was not. Um, and I was very surprised because, you know, you thought that was going to be it. But then right on the tail of that, um, they pull out and uh, and debut this Capcom Arcade Stadium Yes, on the back end of that. And what that's basically going to be is what it says. It's a Capcom Arcade where you can go in and download a whole bunch of Capcom retro games. So they've done this before. Uh, in fact, I think you can even still purchase them on the Xbox and the PlayStation. Uh, originally PS3 and Xbox 360, but I think they've been ported over to the new ones. So yes. certainly nothing, it's not groundbreaking, but it's cool to see it updated. It's going to have 32 titles. As of right now, it's only announced with a Switch, so I don't know if it's going to come out on the other consoles. Mm-hmm. Same with Ghosts and Goblins, not 100% sure. But let me just really quickly run through some of the list. 1942, Commando, Section Z, Bionic Commander, Ghosts and Goblins, Final Fight. Actually, I think there's going to be four or five different 1941 games Ooh. in this list. Uh, a couple of Street Fighters, um, Power Gear, so Warriors of Fate. There you go. Um, so, and look, yes, a lot of these games have been released before, obviously. Mm-hmm. But to have this nice collection, right. especially for people who've never had it before, yeah, is really cool. And day of, you get a free download. Is it the same game you get a free download of, or you choose the one you want? No, no, no. It's, yeah, 1943, The Battle of Midway. Everyone 1943, gets. 1943, everybody gets. Yeah. But still, it's just great to have everything under one umbrella. You mm-hmm. know, um, mm-hmm. like I said, like I bought the Capcom beat em up bundle recently to play with my friend Rich, um, and you get seven games in that, which was awesome because it was, I think it was like 10 bucks. Yeah. Um, so 10 bucks, oh, yeah. seven games can't beat that. But, you know, so I'm curious to see what the price point is going to be for the DLC on these games. But, um, Still, it's just really cool to see that. Plus, it, it kind of reminded me, like the trailer reminded me of, remember when um, Xbox Live did like that arcade where you actually built, like when you, oh, I forgot. If, it, yeah. Remember you had the, you went into your own personal arcade. That's right. And when you bought games for it, like they were arcade machines of the game. Forgot so about you that. walk up to the game and then play it. It was like, <laughs> the, was it the Atari like arcade? Club? There was like, a, I forgot what it was. No, it might've been a Microsoft thing. Yeah. Um, I forgot about that. That's, yeah, but it was really, right. but it was really it cool, was cool because you got to build your arcade type yeah. of thing. So um, yeah, and it's a lot of fun. What's cool with this one, and more details will come out, but uh, even on like the like the official trailer for this Capcom collection, you can change the 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 difficulty. So like you can slow the game down, you can speed the game up, which is an issue I've been trying to get with Ms. Pac Man for the longest time. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, obviously different settings, the rewind features and stuff. But yeah, no, this trailer, I was like, okay, I'm in. I mean, I was in for Ghosts and Goblins, but I'm in with this. Yeah. No, uh, same here. Another trailer, which I just want to make mention, this is a newer game, but it I thought it was going to be the sequel to an older game. So sitting there, I'm watching the trailers. I'm like, oh, it's another zombie game. All right, whatever. And then it just happened to have four protagonists. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, this kind of looks familiar. And then kind of the way they were interacting, and I'm like... Like my face starts getting like, like, oh my God, is this left for dead three? Because then you start seeing these zombies and you see like these specialty zombies. Mm 
<laughs> and then you see like the boomer if you remember these games you know yeah just to, to to bring it home a little bit left for dead and left for dead 2 and we played i mean us and all of our friends that was probably yeah. the first real game that we played multiplayer online yeah it's by far it, no question it's the first multiplayer online game that i played at length mm -hmm. ever um and if i remember correctly it helped keep my sanity when i first moved to la were you playing when you were in la i believe so. probably probably yeah now yeah because it came it. out on 360 right yes yeah no i mean i was only i mean yeah i mean i because i moved to la in uh 2006 so oh okay yeah yeah the game wasn't out that long no you're right okay so there yeah. you go so it helped connect us first of all because we're all back in brooklyn yeah you're out there venturing in la and just yep. the game itself was insanity to the umpteenth level mm -hmm. and as much as it was supposed to work together we did more to hurt each other or try and <laughs> try to hurt each other in the game than the actual co-op <laughs> so yeah, we were just we were just terrible to each other <laughs> No, we weren't. There was a select few. Yeah, they were. They were. That, well, they, they they were like our get. They were like our guest stars, basically. When when one of the core four couldn't play, and one of them stepped in, and was like, "Okay, you can't play with this." <laughs> but um, so I'm watching, and I'm like, "Oh my god, it's Left for Dead 3. And then they re and then the name of the game is Back for Blood. Mm -hmm. Back the number four blood. And then I'm like, "Did I miss Left for Dead 3? Is yeah. this the fourth game in the series?" But long story short it's from the makers of left for dead different company but it's from the mm -hmm. same makers. so it's basically uh what do you call it Ant? not a homage but a uh a successor almost like, almost or like a, a spinoff kind of sort of you know like yeah. you know it's 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 part of the same family but it's the part of the family that like you put in the other room during thanksgiving yeah exactly so. it's the drunk uncle that you don't want basically to talk to everybody else basically but this game looks awesome to the point where even last night from recording i told you this before we recorded it uh me and a couple of the guys we got on to play the, like the original left for dead both those games are backwards compatible on the xbox one Ooh. okay um, so when are we playing uh, we trust me we're gonna it's gonna be something new that we'll be doing soon and um um it's definitely worth it uh not all the dlc is available but whatever okay. um but uh yeah, back for blood. I'm so stoked. That's in June, um, and then so those are the two big ones for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, and um, and I can understand why um, because those are yeah those really stick out a lot. There were um, there were a couple for me that um, also kind of jumped out. And again, this is just me based off of games that I've played before mm -hmm. or just something different which I like. Um, the first thing is, and we just talked about Microsoft Flight Simulator winning an award. And again, I'm not a Microsoft Flight Simulator fan, yeah, but I understand I. the following behind it. I mean, it's been it's been around for like 25 years now. Uh, yeah, which, yeah, which is insane when you think about it. Yeah. Um, but Microsoft Flight Simulator, Microsoft announced that Flight Simulator is finally coming to console for the first time. Yeah, ever. yeah in 2021 on the xbox series x and s yeah it's the only it's the only system that can handle it yeah um i'm curious how that's going to work like I'm, are they going to put out a new uh, like flight stick or something I, like I, as a I, yes there's gotta be no question about that <laughs> because the whole point of that game like like you need the flight stick the pedals like yep. you, they're gonna yeah look they'll they'll make that's basically where they're gonna make all their money on it i think would be off the i accessories think i'm in on it. that one yeah. yeah, I'm not in on that one, but um, <laughs> uh, look, I look at game. There no. are games. That, there are games attuned to everybody. Yeah, it's this not that you hate it. Yeah, this one's definitely not for me. And but I see the appeal of it. Yeah. So I'm sure there are going to be a lot of hoppy, hap, hoppy, a lot of happy people, <laughs> a lot of rabbits, a lot, a lot of rabbits, a lot of happy rabbits that uh, are going to jump on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So that was some really great news coming out of um, the Game Awards. Um, the other one that I thought was interesting, and it's more so that I wanna, I want more information about it, but mm -hmm. it looks like I'm not gonna have to wait that long. Is this other thing called? And when you watch the Game Awards, this there was this virtual performance that happened, right? There was like a virtual the, pop. Group. Yeah, there was about three or three or four different performances. Yeah, and this one that you're about to talk about. I think just went over my head. I thought it was just another performance. So I probably mm -hmm. just didn't pay attention. I just listened to the music. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So this one is called, uh, the, the name of the group is OFK, but the it was a musical act, 
but it's going to be part of an interactive series called We Are OFK. Mm -hmm. And it debuts in spring of 2021. And what basically what happens is it's cover it covers the rise of an aspiring pop group called OFK. Mm -hmm. But it's an interactive series that you're going to basically you're going to choose like, like the interactive in the sense of you're going to be following along with this. And I think you're going to be making choices in what happens. Or at least hmm. that's what it seems like to me. That sounds um, about right. Yeah. So I'm really, really curious about this. Right now, what they did was they just they did the musical performance on the show. And I'm just really curious to see where this goes at the end of the day. And um, you can visit their website, OFK.cool, C-O-O-L, <laughs> um, to learn more about the um, about this interactive series. So I'm okay. actually really curious about this. Um, all right. No, yeah, that, that looked really interesting. Uh, another some quick hits. These are just notable mentions. Um, a trailer, a world premiere that was playing. I'm like, all right, just another, you know, first person shooter or whatever. And then at the end, you see this kind of familiar figure. Mm. Uh, and then they're just like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Ms. Dark. Uh, Joanna Dark is finally making her return. Perfect Dark. Brand new game coming out mm -hmm. for the Xbox. Um, in fact, talking about old games getting some new polish. Perfect Dark was one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Mass Effect. It looks like we're getting a new Mass yes. Effect is coming out. Um, and I kind of told you about this. Definitely go check the trailer. This is one of the games that was promoted more for the Oculus 2. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's going to be on PlayStation VR, but Mist yes, in VR. Yes, tell me about that. Yep. That should be interesting. And I want to play that because I never finished Mist. I can only imagine what it looks like, though, in VR because it was already kind of a pseudo VR game, even though you're playing it on your TV. Exactly. So I'm very curious about that because maybe I, like and if it and if it's the same game as the original Miss, like I'll wait for the VR version to play through it. Yeah, no, exactly. So. Um, a new Medal of Honor game is coming out Ooh. again. It was promoted for no in VR. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Again, it was promoted for Oculus. I love Medal of Honor. I think I love Medal of Honor more than Call of Duty. First exactly. two games were fantastic. Pardon me. Um, but exactly. this one seems to really kind of hit home because they show gameplay, which looks amazing. And then they show like actual footage. And I think they interview some World War II vets. Oh, that's um, cool. Yeah. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the story plays into it. But it looks it's going to look interesting. It's going to look deep because I can't even imagine watching an interview in VR with, with these men and women, um, especially because we don't have many of them left from World yeah. War Two. So Medal of Honor, be on the lookout for that. Um, and then, again, these are just to mention, because I know there's a couple more real quick, then we'll move on to something else. Yeah. Uh, we get a new Evil Dead game called Evil Dead The Game. Yes, and I saw that. I actually saw that trailer and got really excited. Because this one's kind of bringing... It's almost like it's, it's like yeah. the Marvel Cinema Universe or the multiverse, I should say. Yeah. But in Evil Dead, because during the trailer, it it talks about the first movie. Mm -hmm. But then you see, uh, I can't remember her name from the series. I got to go back and watch it. I only watched the first the one, few episodes. The, the woman from Evil Dead 2. No, no. Right? It was the, it, oh. No, it's the girl from Ash versus Evil Dead. Oh, oh right. They're okay. bringing everything together. Yep. And so, I know Army of Darkness. You saw the guy, yes. the knight. <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> Uh, you see that, you see, uh, and then basically all the movies and Bruce Campbell's doing the, the voiceover of and then course. you see Ash come out and it almost looks like, I hate to say it because I don't, I, I don't think it's a copy. I don't know how the gameplay is, but it almost looks like a left for dead version of evil dead, which I'll buy. I'll buy that full price. Yeah, no, no, no. I saw that too. <laughs> and I was like, Ooh, I was like, and I remember watching the trailer. I go, is this like left for dead, but evil dead? I was yeah, like, exactly. if it is, I'm all in. <laughs> So, um, so I just want to know if there are going to be any um, trees raping people in the game. I mean, that's <laughs> well, that was the first movie, and my God, that was like that was weird. No, no, I remember seeing that for the first time, and I'm like, okay, this is a this is really weird. It's like, I, who is like, this Sam Raimi? He's not gonna he's not gonna yeah, amount to I, anything. No, no, exactly. It. I'd be like, I saw that scene, and I'm like, oh yeah, this guy's never. That's it for him. I was and, like, and Spider Man. Spider -Man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, no, but you know those. Look, any film majors out there, if you ever want to do like a thesis or something, mm -hmm. do it on the character of Ash through Evil Dead, because those yeah. first three movies, you want to talk about a character development. Ash from the Evil Dead movies. That's a character development. Very um, true. Very true. And then uh, real quick, I'm watching I'm, I'm watching one of the world premieres and I'm like, is that? Is that Vin Diesel? Yep. 
So, uh, Vin Diesel, for some reason, is going to be in Arc 2, which had a very cinematic trailer. Yeah, and, very I thought that, yeah and I thought that was kind of weird. So it's basically Vin Diesel fighting dinosaurs and something. So uh, someone goes, is this the new Turok? <laughs> That's right, what yeah, exactly. Like. He's fighting uh, monsters and dinosaurs or something like Basically, that. Basically, that's what yeah. ARK is. Yeah, it is yeah. a sequel to ARK. Uh, and for the ARK fans out there, they also announced an animated uh, television series coming out for ARK. Which is cool. Um, um, one game that uh, yes. one game that I thought that uh, I found interesting was... Um, and again, this is more... Um, I like I like some of these games where it's like a li- where life is kind of going on and you make these choices. So it's more, more personal <laughs> thing. Speaking of which... I um kitty so um if you've ever played the game gone home um Mm. it's more like the like these personal kind of adventures um the creators of gone home uh debuted a new trailer called open roads um so and that looked really interesting to me so it's about a mother and daughter on a road trip through a desolate landscape Mm -hmm. um and the and the um, voice of the mother is actually being played by carrie russell yes that's right yep Felicity herself. Felicity herself. Graduated college, had a daughter, and is now on the open road. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that looks pretty cool. And then one more quick hit, and then the final game, in my in my opinion. Uh, first of all, they cut to Reggie fils Everyone was virtually, obviously, where they of were. Of what's going on. So Reggie fils shows up. Uh, and, you know, he's in his office. I forgot what game he, he gave the award for. But he has a lot of cool, obviously, memorabilia behind him. Yep. And I'm pretty sure I saw an Iowata amiibo behind him really the the former uh president of nintendo passed away a few years ago and i'm sure it was something they made and handed out but i'm like i think that's an iowata amiibo and i thought that was really cool obviously like a they probably made like five of them if that's even true uh but uh you know we gotta in my opinion leave this one for last um the first world premiere uh once the show actually started officially at seven o'clock super smash brothers we have a new competitor. Yeah. Oh my! And did he make a, did he make an impact? The old one wing angel himself, and I don't know how to pronounce his name. His name <laughs> is Sephiroth. Sephiroth. I was gonna say Sephora, but no, I know that's Sephiroth. a Sephiroth. Uh, Sephiroth. Uh, so Final Fantasy back in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and my God, he almost killed Mario. Yes, he almost did. Arguably the greatest villain in the Final Fantasy series. Yes. Um, Sephiroth. Yeah. And when I saw the trailer, and you know what? There was a lot of backlash from the trailer, too, because they were like, oh my God, he killed Mario. And I'm, I'm just they bro, reveal that he didn't. But, another no. audible gas. And it's, I'm the only one in this apartment. And I'm like, he killed effing Mario. Hey, you know what? They killed Luigi once. Why can't they kill Mario? It's Luigi. Uh, <laughs> but but then a, you see. But if you don't have Luigi, how are you going to clean the ghosts up in the mansion? This is very true. Um, yes, yeah, so and you know, revealed that he wasn't killed, but they throw him aside. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, Sephora uh, making his way into Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, uh, yep. part of the series two with the uh, downloadable uh, players. So mm-hmm. yeah, it looks really, really sweet. And you know, again, go check out the game awards on YouTube, you can follow yeah. them. Uh, uh, all the trailers, cup, one, one, one other, you want more? Of, okay, j- just a couple other quick hits, really. And these are just fast ones. Um, Among Us is getting a new board, new level, a ship, yeah, uh, yeah, which should be interesting. And then the other thing, which I thought was a, a cool announcement if you are a Fortnite player, oh, yes, um, Epic revealed that um, Master Chief from the Halo series will be joining Fortnite, and not only Master Chief, and I thought this was actually more interesting because of I was a fan of the show uh, for a while. There are going to be some characters from The Walking Dead showing up in yes. Fortnite. So some interesting news there as well. Yeah, well, Fortnite just keeps on trucking. Yes, it does. Uh, so, Never uh, played it. <laughs> so definitely check all that out. And again, yeah. you can check out all the trails. You can even watch the entire show if you want. Uh, and make sure you check out the the uh, musical performance from the London Philharmonic. They did it on a, Actually, I put it up on the Facebook page. They put an amazing Super Mario Brothers melody together, which is Ooh. awesome to listen to. I got to so. check that out. Because I did not right. watch the entire Game Awards. Uh, so with the holidays coming up, what, doesn't matter what you celebrate. Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, uh, Boxing Day. You know, yes. whatever it let's is. Let's not forget Boxing Day. Let's not important. forget our friends up north. Yes. Um, a lot of cool gifts out there. And, and what can you get a gamer that has video games? 
uh, more video games? Maybe. Okay. But what we're going to talk about here today? That was my thought. Just some, just some quick hits, and Ant, you might have to do some heavy lifting uh, with some editing. Yeah, um, I always do. Clearly, um, is uh, video game related gifts? Yes. And, so not uh, ne- definitely the year for that. Yeah, not necessarily a cartridge, but something kind of made. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we do have a list that uh, we pulled up. A lot of it's on Amazon. But I want to talk about first Etsy. Yes. The website Etsy, which is kind of like a giant farmer's market. Um, you just go on there. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> and and it's, it's for people who create their own things, and then they sell it through Etsy. Mm-hmm. And I follow uh, a few shops. I've bought from a couple of them, and I definitely want to give a shout out. Uh, first of all, there's one called Mad Sunshine Creations. Mm-hmm. Uh, and these are basically the, the handles you can search on Etsy for. Mad Sunshine Creations. You may have seen me in the past. I have these controller holders for like my NES and my Famicom yep. controllers for the Switch. Mm-hmm. And I even got a couple for the Super Nintendo versions. All 3D printed. I got them from Mad Sunshine Creations. They got a lot of cool controller holders, um, cartridge holders, uh, even for some of the old school stuff. Uh, so they got a lot of, a lot of it's all 3D printed. Okay. Which I think is really cool. They even have actually, if you want to buy on the on the cheap side, uh, 3D printed Joy-Con. You know, like the Joy-Con, like you yes. slide them in to make it into a, a controller. They sell like they sell short ones. They sell angled ones. They sell wide ones. So it's it's pretty cool, and they work. That's cool. Yeah, so they're pretty cool. Um, another company which I've recently actually bought from uh, is a company called Rose Colored Gaming. Mm-hmm. Now, Rose Colored Gaming, they're really all about the display. And they have displays, like like plastic displays, uh, or, or um, what do you call that kind of glass? Um, I forgot what you call it. But um, like some heavy-duty displays for controllers, for games. Like mm-hmm. if you have a game in box and you want a hard, rigid plastic case for it, mm-hmm. they sell them. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, for Rose Colored Gaming. I just bought for my Game Boy Pocket mm-hmm. and one they just made for the Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers. Ooh. A couple of stands. That's cool. That you put them on. And, you know, they, they, you know, you can use it. You can take it off real easy, play, mm-hmm. put it back on. They have stands for the minis. Like, literally anything and everything they have stands for. Okay, that sounds really cool. Yeah, and a lot of cool, um, like I said, a lot of... Oh, they also have, like, these vinyl, like, real wood vinyl... I can only call them stickers. I don't know what they're called. Like, for your GameCube. Oh. <laughs> so, like, the GameCube looks like it's made out of wood. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. So they got a lot of a lot of Zelda, like, very detailed Zelda Ooh, stuff. I'm yeah. all in for that. You know that. So check out Rose Colored Gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, a couple other ones I just want to give a shout-out to on Etsy. Uh, Video Game Shadow Box. Oh, yes, I like those. And actually, I bought something from them at one of the shows, uh, like a, a Sonic. Uh, but it is exactly that. It's a shadow box. It's mm-hmm. like a th- it's an image from a game, but it's very 3D to it. Uh, mm-hmm. Check them out. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally, one that I just discovered, and they look awesome. Pigmented. P-I-G-M-I-N-T-E-D. Okay. They make these laser cut, kind of like... Spitfire Labs with the with the Hyrule map that I have. Yes, which I dude, I still want that. That's hardcore. This yeah. is another company that kind of does the same thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're more detailed. Like they make these wooden laser cut cartridges. I'm looking at one for Earthbound, Mega Man X, mm. The Wind Waker. Ooh. Um, Twilight Princess, a lot of Zelda stuff. I'm talking deep cuts, literally. These pieces look amazing. There is a Final Fantasy IV cart and a Chrono uh, Trigger cart. Ooh. ooh. So these are these are more on the high end okay. as far as pricing. Worth it. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah, totally. But they got some beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, even like the screens from like Final Fantasy VII that just mm-hmm. give the stats. You know, like the screen when you have your, your four characters yep. and the stats. They have that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So, And I think you can kind of customize it a little bit. Oh, nice. All right. So, uh, so yeah, definitely check them out. Pigmented. All oh, of those Jesus. were on Etsy. 
What is happening over there? I don't have the screen up. Cat attack. Wow, look at that. He's just all over he, you. Yeah, he's been very, very needy lately. I don't know <laughs> if it's because it's the holidays or... <laughs> he knows? He, yeah, he knows. Well, he, you know, Kitty Claus is coming. Right, Kitty Claus is coming. <laughs> One, one more I just want to mention real quick, uh, which I've I've purchased from before. I've seen them at a show. Uh, you can follow them on Instagram, uh, Popsicart, P-O-P-S-I-C-A-R-T, P-O-P-S-I-C-A-R-T. They, again, do like this 3D um, imaging, um, but they have a little bit of everything, but they do have video game related stuff, okay. uh, like with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Super Mario Brothers, uh, Street Fighter. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. All right. Some of that stuff there. Sounds fun. Um, and then, Ant, what do you have? Some quick hits there that you see? Some pretty interesting stuff? Yeah. So um, you had, oh, bye. Oh. Um, so <laughs> you had, uh, you, there are lists all over the place of what to get for, um, you know, for, for the gamer that's not a video game. There's mm-hmm. all kinds of paraphernalia. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to hit up on a few things that I saw that I really liked. Okay. Um, one of them uh, that you can get at GameStop, I'll point out where you can find these things too. Yeah. So uh, one thing you can find at GameStop, and I really like this one, it's a PlayStation controller alarm clock. Yes, I saw that too. So it's literally, it literally it's, it, it's literally a PlayStation controller and it sits on a stand, but obviously it has a digital clock on it and it's an alarm clock. It's got the control buttons and all that stuff. So I thought that was really, you know, really cool if anybody is looking for just having an old school alarm clock like on their bedside table or something and it's funny i've I've been in the market for an alarm um yeah i mean i use my phone as my alarm but mm -hmm. uh, i'm curious to see like actually let me look at the let me look at the description really quickly um i don't think there's much else to it imagine a ps4 controller and the touchpad in the middle that's the alarm clock no 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 but like my my thought behind it is like what does it play as an alarm? Like, I would love if it played oh. like the old, like, imagine if it played the original PlayStation theme. That's like, actually soothing. Yeah. <laughs> you might not well, like, that might put that. you to sleep. And when we get, like, you'll open your eyes a little bit, like, oh. It's like back to sleep, too. But, you know, like, um, but yeah, so PlayStation controller alarm clock. Um, that looked really interesting to me. Um, jumping over to Amazon, where a lot of these are currently mm-hmm. sitting. Um, I'm going to flip through these really quickly that I liked. Um, one was um, the Paladone PlayStation icons light with three yes. light modes. So it's the PlayStation buttons, you know, triangle, circle, cross, and square. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. sorry, it's X, people. It is. It's X. Always had been. But basically, uh, yeah, so basically it just it lights up. It has three light modes, which is just normal light mode, or then it has a color phasing mode, mm-hmm. which is really cool. It's it's small. It's like 12 inches, 12 inches wide by four inches high, but just a really cool thing to add to your shelf if you want to. And it also plugs in via USB. Yes. So I thought that, that, that was, was really fun. cool. Um the uh one thing, and I believe Larry, you may have bought this. This was like an impulse buy of yours mm-hmm. maybe uh the my arcade retro oh machine. yes let me go grab that super quick yeah it's a playable mini arcade it has 200 retro style games in it so it's really just a small arcade larry's gonna go grab it to show it has 200 preloaded games into it and again these are all um original these are original retro games they have puzzle games racing games sports games and stuff like that you're talking about something else i, I thought of something oh. here i'll show you this <laughs> right. it's a little head but i'll show it um We'll just pull the camera. Uh, this from from uh, New Wave Toys. Oh, from New Wave Toys. Yeah, yes. the uh, the insert coin, of course, which is awesome, and it lights up. It does light up. Yes, and I, I did. You know what? It's funny. I did pull that up as well. But, yeah, it's um, later on in the list. Yeah, it's but it's on one the I thought list. you were talking about. Yeah, but it, you know, if we're talking about New Wave Toys again, I showed this oh, last I week. Love that thing. The uh, the the arcade yes. change machine, USB charger, which I still have to hook up. <laughs> um, you know, I need more space behind me. I got to actually go buy more furniture, which is sad. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that one's really cool from New Wave Toys if you want something like that. Um, and then we have the um, uh, other thing I saw on Amazon. These are original video game patent art prints. Yes, right? It's a Those set are of cool. four photos, and basically it, sh- it shows you the patent of different video games. So it kind of pulls out like it it, uh, it it you know if you've ever seen a diagram of something so it's got um like game boy arcade an arcade machine an atari joystick and an n64 joystick 
And, you know, uh, if take a look at those, the prints look really, really cool. Um, that's actually something nice to put up on the wall. It's four eight by 10 photos. Mm -hmm. Um, just really fun stuff. Um, one thing I saw that I really liked, um, but if I buy it, um, I will probably just spend all my time trying to play it <laughs> is the legend of Zelda Ocarina of time ceramic Ocarina. I'm staring at this. I've been staring at this for two days yep. when I discovered it. I'm like, I really want an Ocarina. Yep. It's really cool. But see, the only thing I would do with it is play the songs from the Ocarina of Time and hope they happen. Like, you know, like <laughs> like I want to play the rain song and make it rain. And I want to I want to play the time song and move time forward and backward. And I know it's not going to do that. <laughs> Don't there, do but... that now, please. No, <laughs> well, no, Don't no, 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 no. Forward. forward. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, all right. You know what? Actually, at this point, I go, let's go back to like 1986. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that was really cool. Um on sale on Amazon right now, the art of Super Mario Odyssey hardcover book. Mm -hmm. It's currently down to 22 bucks. Um, if you're into buying um, art books for video games, uh, I have all the Zelda ones. Um, I also have the, yeah, 30, nice one the was it the 30 year, the Super Mario Brothers mm -hmm. encyclopedia, which you can also get on Amazon. I saw if, if I may jump in real quick yeah. uh, again, it's a little later on in the list. So I just want to mention this. This is pretty cool for anyone. Uh, any gamers out there with an Apple watch. Uh, El Lago, E L A G O, sells a uh, an Apple. It's just really an Apple Watch charger stand, mm -hmm. but it's shaped like a tiny Game Boy. And when, because when you put the watch down for the night to charge it, mm -hmm. when you put the Apple Watch on its side, it has a nightstand mode. Yeah, where it just displays the time horizontally. Mm -hmm. Any sudden movement, it lights up real quick for like three seconds or whatever. Yeah. But you can pop it into this Game Boy uh, charger holder, and it just looks like a little Game Boy, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. It's like yeah. 15 bucks. Yeah, really fun stuff. Yeah. Uh, one thing I saw on the list that I want, because uh, I was going through hardcover books, mm -hmm. uh, this particular book, which is called The Game Console, A Photographic History from Atari to Xbox. Oh, yes, I saw that. And yeah. it basically shows you images of video game hardware uh, of 86 different consoles. Wow. So when I say like I, I have my collection complete with like 25, I am way off. <laughs> so um, yeah, lots of stuff to look at. Um, and I definitely like that. That's like a, that's like a coffee table book. I would definitely want. Oh, to totally. Have, so, uh, on my end, just one more to mention. This one's over at Walmart. Actually, mm. it's the, what they call the super plumber warp pipe foam. It's a koozie. Yeah. It's a super Mario I brothers warp pipe koozie. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I thought that was fun too. And then, uh, one finally here it's on Amazon and it goes for like $179. So this one's not really a Ooh. stocking stuffer, but it's a Bose. Um, bone conducting gamer glasses. Oh yeah, I saw that. So it, this, if you know, bone conducting technology is basically headphones that do not go into your ear. They kind of sit like either right up, like on your temple, I think, mm -hmm. or maybe right behind your ear. And it does these waves that hits the back of your ear, and only you hear the music. Um. And it's a wild new technology, and these also double as sunglasses, gaming glasses, but uh, so you don't have to worry about like jamming uh, like earphones, uh, headphones into your ears or whatever if that yeah. bothers some people. So this new bone technology, I think, is pretty cool, uh, and it's Bose. You can't go wrong. Yeah, with Bose. you can't go wrong with Bose yeah. um, for sure. Um, so. Just a couple, uh, a few other quick hits. Yeah. Um, really fast. Uh, also on Amazon, BioWorld has released yes. a Super Mario Brothers retro fleece throw blanket. Yeah, forty-eight inches by sixty. Yeah, so very cool. If you you know if you get cold at night and you wanna you wanna <laughs> be warmed by Super Mario, uh, you can do that. Um, another quick one. Uh, jumping to a different site um, on iCanvas.com, and this looks really cool. It's like it's called the Van Gogh yes. Never Leveled Up Canvas Print. So basically, is like a it's like um it's a scene from Super Mario Brothers, but in a in the Van Gogh Starry Night design. That yeah, looked uh, gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really really cool, and um, it's not that expensive. Um, right now, it's fifty five percent off, oh, so it's okay. only thirty six bucks, which I thought was really cool for the canvas. Oh, I'm in. Um, on entertainmentearth.com, these are just cute if you want to play with something on your refrigerator. Super Mario Brothers magnets, where you can basically <laughs> design a little level on your fridge. And then the last one, which I thought you would be interested in, Larry. Me? It's, uh, it's on Best Buy, and it is the Hori 
Split Ooh. Pad Pro handheld controller for the Nintendo Switch. So basically, they took the Nintendo Switch Pro controller and split it in half so you can put it, you can attach it to your Switch. I've seen this, yes. That does look pretty interesting. Yeah, so I thought that would be something you would like because mm-hmm. I know you play your Switch a lot handheld. So, uh, especially when you're on the road, yeah. Yeah, especially um, when you're on the road. Yeah. But I like, I love the Pro Controller more than I do the regular oh, yeah. the, the totally. Joy Cons. So, um, being able to just hook that up to your switch and play with the pro controller handle is definitely beneficial. Um, so lots of, lots of gifts out there. Yes. And, uh, yeah. And then, you know, tons more, you know, like this coffee mugs is everything as you saw the stocking from earlier. Yeah. So a lot of cool stuff. And, um, you know, hopefully some of the stuff maybe will spark if you need like a last minute gift or something like that, you know, just order it real quick. Amazon, a lot of this stuff should arrive before, before Christmas. Um, yeah, if you I think buy we're at Hanukkah week, right now. Sure. So yeah. Everything should be in in time or roughly in time. So yeah, I think so. Um, other than that, and I think we should call it a day. Yeah, no, I mean, I think we covered everything again. Um, don't forget um, to check out our contest mm-hmm. for the holiday contest. So we have two, we have two stockings full of little gaming goodies that we would love to send you. So we'll pick our winners on next week's episode and get those shipped out to you. They may not make it there for Christmas, but they'll be there. Um, you know, for you to celebrate the holidays with. Absolutely. I mean, we'll pull in the mulligan anyway. So, uh, you know, Christmas uh, is now like in April. Yeah, more or less. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So all, all cool stuff. One quick programming note. Uh, th- uh, yes. Tomorrow from when this drops, uh, Anthony will be a guest on my other podcast, the Better Half podcast. Oh, so yes, definitely check that out. Yes, which is going. It is be that time. It is that time of year where, and you know, and I don't know how much you tell on, on that uh, about the Better Half, but every year I guest on the podcast to talk about a very special episode from sitcoms past. Yes, and this one's uh, this one's this year's an interesting one. Yes, it is. Um, we'll just you know leave it at it's uh, from a wonderful, wonderful episode of Punky Brewster, yeah, the live action show, not the cartoon. Correct. Um, so check that out over on the Better Half. It is not for everyone, so uh, you know with the language, I'll just leave it at that. It's not safe for work. Not like this wonderful safe podcast to listen to. Yes, um, we're a little more randy over there, but uh, definitely check it out anyway. So because I. We haven't recorded it yet, but I know it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's going to be a blast. I, I'm looking forward to recording that. <laughs> Myself and Frank, the better half. And where can they find us? Uh, you guys can find us on theretrogamers.com, on facebook.com slash retrogamerspodcast, on Instagram at retrogamerspodcast, and on Twitter at retrogamerspod. You can watch us on YouTube and Instagram TV, and you can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts, including our new hosting uh, whatever you want to call them, our new host, Podbean. <laughs> Sight. Uh, yes, you thank you, Podbean. We're happy to be part of the family. Be a part of the Podbean and, pod. Um, with that, actually, now we got to get ready to do another podcast in a little while. Yes, we do. So, <laughs> so Ant, I'll see you in about an hour or so. I'll see you in about an hour, and for everybody else, we'll see you in a week. Yes, we will catch you everywhere next week on the Retro Gamers Podcast. Retro Gamers Podcast.